What's up everyone, how's it going? Well, I'm enjoying the programming now and I've got lots of coursework to do with, from the university so it was a bit of hush hush but now I've got three days off so I'm just going to enjoy these three days making tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to learn about hash maps which is an essential part uh, oh, I can't spell okay hash maps are an essential part of programming you might you may think after this tutorial that I'm not going to need that and but then if you think then you would need it because hash maps are really important to store key and values and stuff like that which is really mind boggling for me uh, okay so what am I going to do for this tutorial is this, I'm just going to create a simple hash map containing uh, uh, containing marks of people and and what's going to happen Okay, and what's going to happen is I'm just going to call out a particular value from the hash map, which is going to be like, you know, well, that's just, that's how it's going to work. So let's just create a hash map. Well, a hash map contains key and a value. So I'm going to do oh yeah, and that trick that I did right there was by that you type the class name and then you press Control Space and it's going to put the import automatically, so you don't need to go up there and then write down the import yourself because that's a lazy thing and I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy to write down the import myself okay so a hash map is a key and a value so a key is something that is going to be referred to while extracting the value and in this instance I'm, I'm going to store uh, people uh, I mean student names and their marks and their corresponding marks yes to be precise and to do that what, what I mean the word the Another thing while using hash map is that how would you, how would you, uh, how would you recognize which is the key and which is value? Well, uh, value is usually something that is that you want, and key is something that you're going to use to get that value. And in a table containing student names and marks, usually marks is the thing that you need and. Uh, student name is something that you're going to refer to while getting the mark. So, so if I have a table containing Mike and Mark as AD, I'm going to say that I want marks of Mike. I'm not going to say I want marks of AD. So, so clearly, Mar uh, Mark. I mean, Mark is the key, and uh, AD is the value. Like, yeah. And f while declaring hash map, you have to specify the uh, type of data that you're going to store for key and type of data that you're going to store for a value. In this case, the key is the name of student, which is a string, and the marks are an integer. So I'm just going to say, and this is called generics, and we're going to learn about generics later. If you want to look up on the internet, if you're curious enough, then just go on Wikipedia and look up generics. But it's a bit of a thing that you don't need to worry about right now, and we're gonna look at it later. And okay, hash map string integer map equals new hash map string and integer. Okay, so now I've created the map. I'm just gonna start putting values. Now, keep in mind this is not an array. This is like an array list. However, an array list can only contain one value at a time. This can contain two values at a time of specified types. So you can put as many values as you want, and you can remove values as you want. So what you can do is map dot put uh, me hundred, of course. Uh, Mike, uh, he's a good guy, seventy six. Put Jesse forty five. Uh, he's all right. He's a junkie. Map dot put Walter. Walter. Uh, well, he's really good, so I'm just going to give him 90, because not as good as me. Well, and those who don't know, these are the names from the television series Breaking Bad. So, you guys should watch it, it's really good. Okay, and so, so now so now I have four names in my list. And I'm just going to add a fifth one. Because oh, I need I need a key and value, so I can demonstrate how you uh, we call take values out out of map so how do you kick off values you know uh, Scarlett I don't like her so she's gonna get one mark well I would put a zero but come on and what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna 
demonstrate how you uh, extract mar uh, values from map using keys. In this case, key is a string, like that, like that. So you would have to refer Walter if you want to get that value. To do that, what we're going to do is int, because marks are integer type, uh, mark of Walter equals map dot get uh, object key which is a string value so I'm just gonna say uh, Walter that's how you get values from map and I'm just gonna marks of Walter are mark of Walter and so now I have extracted marks of Walter and okay how would you remove something so in this case I don't want Skylar here and I specifically put her there so I can uh, take it off the map so map dot remove and Skylar and now if I'm check if Skylar is there map dot contains key that and I'm just going to put an if statement uh, Skylar exists ah, it's going to be like ah she exists else <laughs> uh, Skylar is gone Phew. okay uh, well, let's run our little program and let's go press F6. Okay, hold on. Let's do one thing before we remove Skyler. Let's check our marks. So to do them, I'm going to copy these lines. Oh, shh. Let's just copy these lines and I'm going to put them here and Skyler and marks of Skyler. Skyler and marks of Skyler. Okay, so I've now put down these things. I'm just gonna run the program and let's see the magic. Okay, marks of Walter are 90, is it? Yes, of course. Marks of Skyler are one. Uh, pardon the grammar because I'm not much in my routine mood. Are uh, one, yes. Skylar is gone, yay! Okay, so we have successfully kicked out Skylar of the map. Okay, so well, if you see in here, this is the way hash map works. This is the way it works, and uh, well, that's that's basically it. And uh, well, you would you might think that this is redundant, and you are not going to use this. Why am I going to use this? I mean, I should think like that as well. When I first saw a page on hash map in the Java in a nutshell book. But later in the course, I had to use it, and uh, well, yeah. So because nothing's there unnecessary in any language, everything has some purpose. So well, hash maps are used like this. So well, yeah, there you go. And if you're if you're gonna use Android, if you're gonna do Android development, then you're gonna use hash maps very soon. Well, uh, yeah, and I might put up an Android tutorial as well later after I complete the Java tutorial. So I'll see you guys later in the next tutorial. Till then, bye bye and enjoy hash maps.